Welcome, everyone. I'm Keith Halperin, and this is my co-host, uh, Will Burnick, and this is Ascend, Life on the Autism Spectrum. Today, we have a special Valentine Day program in which we're going to be featuring as our guests um, Ascend board member uh, Stacy Kennedy and a professional singer, as well as uh, Ascend member and worker at the California Academy of Sciences John Hammond. Will, would you like to take it from there and uh, tell us, since it is a Valentine's Day show, uh, anything particular? Well, um, I'd like to start off by start by by saying, but with Happy Valentine's Day, and in in enjoy enjoy today. Spread the love. Spend the day day with your loved with your loved ones. And now I'd like to take it over to Stacy Kennedy. Stacy. How and when did you know you were on, on the autism spectrum? 2008, um, pretty much when I looked up online of certain traits that just ring a bell to me. And then I got into a, um, the group Autistics, which stands for Autistics United Together and showing they indeed can succeed. It's um, pretty much a a group that you just go and talk and you know, it's pretty intimate and and then we go out to eat afterwards. I learned about this group through Ascend and I went to the first picnic of Ascend and then I got involved in other things like a film class um, with the Autism Social Connection and ever since then I've been involved. You, op you operate your own pet business and your own business and pet care, don't you? Tell us about about it. I am part of a business called, um, I have my own business um, called StacysPuppyLove.com. And I, um, I, I sit for um, people who go on vacation. I um, give them the, or I have them, you know, give me the dates of when they're going to leave for vacation. And I even do daily sitting. Uh, a few times a week I sit for a Yorkie. Um, Tuesdays I walk a puppy Rottweiler and I, I go to places like Bernal Heights so yeah I, I sit for people in the in the city when they just don't have time and when they're busy at work even um, I am also do some basic grooming how, how did you get into performing I got into performing I was about six or seven years old I was in my first dance recital during the around the same time, I um, my voice started developing, and Les Misérables was one of the um, things my family and I would listen to practically every day, and Cats. Um, and my father, who's a musician himself, he um, did songs from the Beatles, even Phil Collins, I believe, and he used to impersonate Elvis and Bud Holly and. So yeah, music runs in my family, and I, I'd say it started around seven or eight years old. Thank you. Now, Stacy, would you say in any way that your uh, being on the spectrum has uh, affected your performance in any way? Has it uh, led you to do things differently than you think uh, possibly a neurotypical person might be able to? I am. Um, I always, I always knew. I, I always thought I was different in some ways, especially in school. I um, wasn't that social with classmates. I mean, they, they were nice to me, but I just, you know, it wasn't an everyday thing. Like, hi, how are you? But I was, I belonged to the drama crowd, and I think my my performance somehow, yeah, has always, you know, being on the spectrum, not knowing I was on the spectrum has affected me, you know, in good ways. Um, but there was always, you know, complications and just confusion of, you know, I'm not sure why I, I just, I just feel so distant. Um, but eventually during those times, even before I found out I was on the spectrum that, you know, we, we all belong somewhere. So, t so tell us, tell us more. Again, uh, for a lot of our viewers, mm -hmm. uh, they may not be familiar what, you know, it is like to feel as we do. So, when you say we're distant, what, what, what do you mean there? Um, 
what I mean is, I suppose what I mean by this distance is, um, I mean, lot, lots seem pretty like remote and really quiet. Um, and it, I've even had people say, gosh, you're so quiet, but when you're on stage, wow, you, 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 you rock the whole house. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't mean, I don't mean it like in a bad way, like, or so it's just some, some people are just, just really quiet and just, there are certain, maybe like, you know, eye contact, which I suppose I practiced a lot mm -hmm. during my life. Um, I, I would say that just what I meant by distant is just <coughs> that, I don't know, we, we, we all are just in our like own paths and in our comfort zones, um, which which you should be, um, but at the same time, um, I, you try to communicate as well. Yeah. It's very good that you you've mentioned that because in the time that I've known you, and I've known you a, a fair amount of time now, uh, haven't known you deeply, but being strike me as uh, sort of a shy and, and, and quiet person, but other than that, I wouldn't say as, you know, an outside observer that you seem to be uh, particularly strongly affected by autism. Uh, are your thoughts about that? Is it like you keep it under control, or uh, what would, would you say? Um, as time went on, yeah, I, d I got more strong and just more outspoken I I suppose yeah I do have control of it um, y you know even during the times I struggled um, l you know in 2008 when I found out these things I was like wow that's what I was going through and and I think somehow it, it made me you know want to progress in life and you know some things could be, s be still very hard to do um, what sort of things are hard for you to do, if you feel comfortable with that? Um, well, I suppose what used to be hard for me to do, um, I um, <clears throat> I guess I, I'm a late bloomer in some things. Like, you know, I haven't really had a place of my own to live in yet, um, but that's being worked on. Um, I um, Just, I don't know, I suppose some things that every person in their 30s maybe sh are supposed to be doing, but sometimes it, it has to do with, you know, economically and mentally. So, um, but um, I'm still trying to think of other, like, to say that it's, it's, it's back there. It's, it's totally back there. But um, but what used to be hard for me to do, even working used to be hard for me to do. I pretty much was just going to school in my 20s. Um, then I, I did get granted, uh, SSI, and then since then I've, you know, explored my options, I've realized how good I am with animals, and, and animals, uh, especially in most, one of Temple Grandin's books, you know, they, they do have a sense of, they're somehow like people with autism, I'm not sure how to explain how, but... They, they do sense things before b before really any other human being do, and that's probably why I, I get along with do dogs, even cats, but yeah. Well, excellent. Well, I thank you very much for now. I've heard that there might be an opportunity perhaps for you to do a little bit of uh, a cappella singing if you, you're up to that. Sure. Does that work? Sure, absolutely. Well, I, just, I just have a few questions. Sure. What is the first song you performed on stage? I believe it was Castle on a Cloud from Les Miserables. How many times a week do you perform? I, um, I'd say I perform on the weekends, like three or four months, like within a year. I, there's times I've done more than that, but I would say right now that's the maximum. Are there songs you want to perform? Uh, yeah, many. Um, one thing that I'm going to bring up is um, season three of the Barbie Coast Review is is coming again this year, um, playing at the Submission on 18th and Mission this year. And last year we did a performance of it as well. This year there's 
some changes, but the storyline's the same. I was thinking of maybe doing a song from that. Yeah, it's a bit short, but I w I'd like to share it. So. Well, thank you, Stacy. You're welcome. Uh, do you think in, uh, we take a little bit after our break, mm -hmm. you might be able to uh, do a brief song for us? Absolutely. Well, excellent. Well, we'll be now taking a break, folks, and uh, we'll catch you in just a moment. Someone in the hills has made a score. So listen up while well it's not in There are people running out this way. Stacy, I understand that you're going to favor us with a couple of uh, your favorite songs. Could you tell us about what those will be? The first one will be called Rocks of Gold, and it's a parody of the song um, We Built This City on Rock and Roll by Starship. And in Barbie Coast, um, there are lots of songs like that played by San Francisco local bands, but the words are changed to fit the story. So this is Rocks of Gold. We'll build this city, we'll build this city on rocks of gold. Build this city, we'll build this city on rocks of gold. There's nothing to do here, life's got a sleepy pace. Welcome to Yerba Buena, you're ruining the place. I'll open up for business. Things are looking bright. I protest. So many customers on their way tonight. Mr. Kelly, pay her off now. Listen to the news, there's gold. You must remember, we'll build this city. We'll build this city on rocks of gold. We'll build this city. We'll build this city on rocks of gold. Build this city. We'll build this city on rocks of gold. I'm so used to doing the harmony part. Um, so yeah, the Barbie Coast is based on the uh, gold rush between 1849 and 1906, and that involves the 1906 earthquake, and lots of characters, Mark Twain, Lillian Coit, whom I perform as, and Jerry Thomas, Alma de Bretville, these are uh, characters um, during this time period of San Francisco. And um, here's a little bit of Let It Go from Frozen. Uh, 
I think we may have heard of that one before, Stacey. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing just it. Just a little, just a little bit. Vaguely familiar. Let it go, let it go. I am one with the wind and sky. Let it go, let it go. You'll never see me cry. Here I stand, and here I'll stay. Let the storm rage on. The cold never but have bothered me anyway. That was gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you very much. We we love that. We always lo we we loved hearing hearing those verses. Yes. There is one thing though that you have said, Stacy, that makes us very very sad, and that is mainly that you are performing only three or four times a year. I know I, and I think probably everybody in this room and the listening audience would love to hear you a lot more. I, I agree. I, I will get more involved. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much again, and we look forward to seeing you again and hearing you again very, very soon. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. So do I. I look forward to hearing you perform new songs on new stages with yes. a new cast. Yes, absolutely. That'll happen. Excellent. Thank you. I'm a little too fast for you. Again, uh, we are now going to be interviewing uh, a SEN board member and Academy of Sciences uh, worker, John Hammond. Will, would you take it from there? I would love to, Keith. John, well, first, welcome to the show. How and, for, and when did you know that you were on the autism spectrum? How did I know I was on the autism spectrum? Well, I, was, I, I met Will, and that's how he got introduced me to SEN. You have a good job at the Academy of Sciences, don't you? Yes, I do, Will. I work the doors and I help greet guests when we come in. 
How long have you worked at the Academy of Sciences? I've worked at the Cal Academy for almost two years. What is your position there? My position is at the front doors. So I'm a, I got guest services, actually. We help people with tarot tickets and scan their tickets. How many visitors do you help every day? We get a lot, Will. So we have over 1,000 visitors a day. Um, how many days a week do you work? I work two days a week there, Will. What are some of the activities you enjoy outside of work? Outside of work, I enjoy um, helping out with Best Buddies, which is a nonprofit organization that works with one-on-one -on -one friendships. People with disabilities that have one-on-one -on -one friendships. And also, we have a Best Buddies Walk coming up on April the 18th, which Will's going to be a part of. Oh, um, are, th are there jobs you want to do at the Academy? No, Will, I like the same jobs that I have. So, John, you mentioned uh, an organization called Best Buddies. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. So, Best Buddies was founded by Anthony Kennedy Shriver in 1989. It was started. So, how did you get involved in it? Uh, I got involved with the USF chapter, which, which we have a lot of members. And I'm actually on the advisory board for Best Buddies California. So, I'm helping them with a lot of events coming up. Excellent. Is Best Buddies designed mainly for people on the autism spectrum? Yeah, it could be. Because Best Buddies is a, it helps people with one -on -one gain one-on-one -on -one friendships for people who are disabled. Very interesting, very interesting. So I'd like to ask you a little bit more about your background. Um, how did, what was it like for you growing up? Uh, when did you realize that you might be on the spectrum, and, and how did that sort of affect When your I life? was born, because my mom said I had ADHD. Mm -hmm. So uh, I figured that's what, I just, how, how, did I get, how did I feel like when I joined the spectrum? I was helping out, like, um, helping out people when I was in Guam, doing Guam Special Olympics who had autism, so I was helping them out. So that's how I learned about autism. And at USF, we have a chapter called Autism Speaks that helps out with people with autism as well. well we've heard of uh, Autism Speaks before. Um, what can you tell us about it from your perspective? Um, every year, Autism Speaks does a 5K walk that I help out with, that I did for every year to help people save, remember to save lives from autism, to be aware of autism at Cal Berkeley. How do you do it? Very interesting. Well, one additional thing, I've always heard that at least many, perhaps most people on the autism spectrum uh, are often very shy and it's hard to deal with people, but it seems like you're very involved in your activities and involved in many organizations. Can you tell me about how that works for you? How am I involved in many organizations? I'm involved with how am I, how am I involved with Best Buddies? As I'm actually on the advisory board, I'm an advisory board member and a walk committee member for the media. And our walks come up April 18th. This year, it's going to be at Chrissy Field. It's going to be a 5K walk. Excellent, excellent. And then, how? Tell me about being involved with people uh, all day long at the Academy of Sciences. Again, I would think that for many people on the spectrum. That would almost be like hell, but it seems to be a great job for you. Y yes, we just let you know we do have we do have ADA accessibility at the Cal Academy of Sciences, which is very good for people with autism because we do have we have we have we do have special escorts for the point of time show if they're in a wheelchair. Excellent. Well, I think that's about it for now. Is there anything else that you'd like to add, Will? Um. Yes. Tell us about friends like me. It's okay. For friends like me, what we have is on Monday nights we have game night and cooking class. So Tuesday nights it's, it's a game night, and then Wednesday night it's movie night. I like movie night because this week we're watching a movie about James Brown documentary. Anything else you'd like to add, Will? Oh uh, yes. Um, uh, how long have you been in Best Buddies? I've been in Best Buddies since t 2000, Will.
Dan, have you done have you done best? What what types of events have you done for for best 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 for best buddies? The types of events I've done as public speaking, because they need but ambassadors to speak. And I'm also helping out with the friendship walk, which is coming up. I I see, and and this year Will's going to be an interview. He had interview people at the friendship walk. And and where and where will be, this best buddies walk be? This best buddies walk will be at Christie Field. Well, I thank you very much, John. Are there any last things you'd like to uh, let us know, either about the Academy of Sciences, um, Best Buddies, uh, Autism Speaks, or any of the other organizations that you're affiliated yes. with? Yes. So this Tuesday night for for fans, Best Buddies is doing a kickoff at the at the Steins Bar on Clement Street to help raise money for the Friendship Walk and to get people signed up for Best Buddies. They can go to bestbuddies.org if they would like to sign up. That was bestbuddies.org, you yep. say? Very good, very good. Well, I think that's it for now. Uh, we'll be taking a brief back and then a, a few posing thoughts. Thank you. Well, Will, I think that's about it for this week for Ascend Life on the Autism Spectrum. So I wish you and our viewers a very best week, and uh, it'll be done by the time uh, you see this. Hope you've all had a very happy Valentine's Day. Take care. Spend, spend the day with your, with your loved ones.